You all may be seated. I'm sorry, um, Mr. Rogers and Ms. Ms. Geiger, would you please stand? The jury having reached a verdict, I will now uh, announce it. We, the jury, find unanim. We, the jury, find unanimously that the defendant did not cause the death of Botham John while under the immediate influence of sudden passion arising from an adequate cause and assess the defendant's punishment at 10 years imprisonment in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. In addition, we assess a fine of zero dollars and it's signed by the presiding juror. Uh, would you like to have the jury poll? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there any legal reason why this sentence should not now be imposed? It is therefore the order, judgment, and decree of the court that you be taken by the sheriff of Dallas County and safely transported by her to an agent or representative of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And there you shall be confined until your sentence is discharged. Your sentence will begin today and you will receive credit for any back time that you have. That being concluded, <coughs> you may be seated, Ms. Geiger. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you are now released from my prior admonitions not to watch, listen, read, or to speak to anyone concerning this case. Um, oftentimes the attorneys like to speak with you to see if there were things that they could have done better or um, if there are questions that you might have. You are absolutely under no obligation to speak with them. If you'd like to, you can remain in the jury room. If you would not like to, we will certainly make uh, accommodations to get you safely to your destinations. But on behalf of all the judges here in Dallas County and the citizens of Dallas County, I want to thank you for your service. Being a juror is a very difficult job, but you help us to establish what criminal justice means here in Dallas County and in the state of Texas. And we thank you for your attention, your time, and your service. Thank you. This has been a most difficult case, and I want you to know we appreciate your service, and if you find yourself still having difficulty processing it in the future, let us know, and we can provide some counseling for you. Okay? Again, thank you. All right. provides that um, the friends, family, and or loved ones of the victim of your crime have the right to make a victim impact statement to you. You don't have any obligation to respond or say anything, just to listen respectfully. And I just ask that they not make any threats or use any profanity. So I'm ready whenever you are, Mr. Herman. We're going to get uh, Mr. Jean. He's coming from across the hall. He should be here in just a moment. I don't want to say twice or for the hundredth time what you've or how much you've taken from us. I think you know that. 
but I just I hope you go to God with all what all the guilt all the things the bad things you may have done in the past each and every one of us may have done something that we're not supposed to do if you truly are sorry i know i can speak for myself i i forgive you and i know if you go to god and ask him he will forgive you and i don't think anyone could say it Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not gonna say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see I I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't gonna ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you because I know that's what that's exactly what both of them would want you to do, and the best would be give your life to Christ. I'm not gonna say anything else. I think giving your life to Christ would be the best thing that both of them would want you to do. Again, I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Please. Yes.